Shalom, shalom, brothers. Your brother Kamama Har here, back at it again. First things first, we we'll give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Bashem, Rakak, Badash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, along the true from from GMS. Blessings to the Akim Adair preaching his word, with whole our true sincerity. Blessings to the 144,000 and one third entirely. The first fruits kingdom of heaven, House of David, the Yafta Wada. And shalom to you, brothers out there speaking different tongues and looking different nations. Shalom to you, brothers. So today, brothers, man, I'm a little vexed, man. I, um. I came across this video of um, Esau, so-called white man, shooting elephants. Elephants. Uh, the video tends to be about two years old or whatever, but it's very relevant um, of what's still happening to, still to this day. Spirit led me to drop, drop, drop a video on it, so I had to do so. Um, this is going to be one of my one of my video jabs. Lord willing, I you know. Come up with something else and Shabbat Shalom to you, bros, as well. Um, I'm gonna go into this video um, of what Esau is doing, and I also heard that there's uh, uh, just for the sake of the conversation, uh, that the, the last rhino ever was killed or, or died or whatever, and who's responsible for that? All things lead to all things lead to Esau because remember that blessing. Uh, for Esau is, uh, you know, to live by the sword and the fatness of the earth thereof, in which they do have. And through the sword, they rob, kill, and pillage, and they also are very cunning hunters. Shoot, you know, Esau got uh, sports to hunt animals for fun, you know? That's what they do, man. This wicked, evil, evil situations of people. Let me get to this video. Just came across it or whatever I had. I was like, man, just put this up. See if can turn to the side. Okay, yeah. And look, look at Esau, man, plotting. You know, you know, like the animals kill to to survive. Esau kill for sport, or they might even kill for ivory. Of the elephants, but then again, what, what, what are they doing it for? It's always some type of game, um, you know, with Esau. Vain game, you know, more money, more resources. Just they want the, they want everything. You know what I mean? But that's how the wicked is. Saw man, see this shit, brothers, man. Look, man, this is why these, this is why these, these people gotta go, man. These, these people are just wicked of all hell. All they do is just figure out ways to just be wicked. Now, now, this one precept I had in mind just came to my head, but it was Micah two. It says, "Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds." When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Shoot, we know that, we know that, uh, because if you go in two, it says, and they convey fields, right? Take them by violence, houses, and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even the man in his heritage, let alone with the animals too. You know, this is all, you, you, this, is, this is twofold, threefold, fourfold, man. 
whatever way you want to look at it, this is this is iniquity, man. Just going out there, and he laughed about it too. He laughed about it, man. You know, um, Isaac, which is also you know Yahweh Shah, you know as well, the brothers can receive it. Gave him that blessing, and then when Yahweh Shah come back, he's gonna take that blessing away. You know, so violence that Esau has, violence how they gonna be taken down. You see what I'm saying? And and, and look. They, and you know what? This scripture probably right. They probably woke up in the morning thinking, hmm, what can I do next to do to, to do some evil shit? Hmm, what can I do? Like that uh that cartoon called Pinky in the Brain. He said, What do you want to do today? I'm going to uh find a way to tick over the world. You know? And that's what Esau does, man. They they, they they look up ways to, you know, do wickedness. And what it says, it says right here in two, it says, and they convey fields, man. They do. They just they, they they go in land and disturb the balance of where the natural um, balance of what's supposed to be and make it an imbalance. And what the Lord say, a false balance is abomination to him, man. And hey, look, it says, when the morning is light, it says, woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand, and it is. They got the blessing of the sword. Can't nobody deal with Esau and his sword. Not at all. But see that right there, man. And then he laughed about it and thought it was. Come on, man. Like, that's just. That's just, man. That's just some fucked up shit, man. And you know, because even back in Psalm 17, 13, what, what, what the, uh. What the, what the David say? It says, it says, Arise, O Yahweh, Shem Shah, disappoint him. Cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Right, because we also know spiritually that Esau is also the Lord's sword, too. Because it's going to be a it's gonna come a time where the Lord going to put a spirit on Esau to give the wreck havoc on two thirds of our people. You know? So they, they, they're doing what they they're doing what they set up for, but they also going to get destroyed for what they're set up for, too. Which is a beautiful thing, because, man, this Esau got to go, man. Esau has to go, man, you know, so I, I just wanted to pull up a couple of precepts, man, and land back on that, because look, man, at the end of the day, matter of fact, let me bring that out, why not, Israelite one-on-one, this is Job 9 and 24, it says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, he covered the face of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he, right, let alone, let alone, you know, they're supposed to be the holy people, or so-called the FJs, which are also Esau. It is, it is what it is. At the end of the day, though, when the wicked, matter of fact, let me bring out uh, Hebrews real quick, just to, just to kind of slam dunk the point. It says, um, no, 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 it's a locket. It's a, uh, um oh psalms so like it psalms 55 no 58 58 and 3 look at this it says the wicked are estranged from the womb they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies let's look up estranged It says, of a person no longer close or affectionate to someone alienated. Why? Right, right. So so Esau apparently goes and do the own thing in their own way. It says, no longer close or affectionate to someone. Right. Affectionate. Matter of fact, look up affectionate. Uh, there we go. Readily feeling or showing fondness or tenderness. Exposing fondness. The point is tenderness. Readily feeling or showing fondness or tenderness. And it says they go, and, it's, and what does it say? It says they go astray. The wicked are astray from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be, uh, they be born speaking lies. And, it's, and right there in the strange, it says that they, 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 have, they lack affection. Right, because they're evil, they're wicked. They, they're, they're not... They're not like Jacob, the so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Indians. They're they're not they're not tender and delicate people by nature. 
They're wicked and harmful people by nature. They're carnal. They want to destroy. They want to rob. They want to rape. They want to kill. That's their whole gift. That's their whole thing. And look at them. They see a pack of elephants and say, hey, let's go, let's go and kill. Kill the elephants. Because back in Genesis, and I'm just bringing this out because it proves who the wicked is. And, and obviously what the video is, according to the scriptures, you can see that the scriptures line up with who they are and how they act, man. And soon, in the, name, in the spirit of power, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, they, they're, going, they're, going to get their, they're going to get their lot. And their lot is destruction, man. And their wicked system and their kingdom by ICBM missiles, man. Genesis, I believe, is 25. Let me go at, uh, I think it's 25. Okay, here we go. I, I, I'll go at Esau's description and go to where I, where I really wanted to get my point. I jumped down. And at first, it came out red, 25-25, all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. Right, because the, cause the, cause the so-called white man is not white. They're red. The blood showed forth through the skin. And it says... Um... 27 and the boys grew and esau was a cunning hunter a man of the field you see that come on man you can't make this stuff up man through the spirit and power of your high bush and man if you want the truth and you want the answers of the scriptures in any manner of what topic we going after the scriptures has it for you and if you want the truth you come through the men of the lord and they'll give it to you freely so when you see those those Edomites actually um, killing those elephants for no reason and laughing about it, it says that they're a cunning hunter, a man of the field. Come on, man. That's what it is. And then it says right here, it says, And Jacob saw pottage, and Esau came from the field, like he always do. You see him in the video. He came from the field, just doing fuckery. And it says, And he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee, with the same red pottage, I am faint. Therefore his name was name called Edom, which Edom means red. Their blood shows forth through their skin. When they get angry, they turn red. When they're upon crazy stress on the bench press machine, they turn red. If the sun hit them too hard, they turn red. They're red, not white. And they were given a super ins insane sword. Which is which is their blessing. Genesis 27. And um I'm gonna go at 40. Now start at 39. And, and Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. Right. And that's why Esau is set up in all the greatest, they're the billionaires and the trillionaires. They're set up in all the best parts of the world. They're 26, 36 floor penthouses you know they, they the bunkers they got million dollar billion dollar bunkers they set up all over the world to do whatever they want to do they got the navy set up everywhere esau is set up to be the wicked of the earth and they rule this thing and they got the fatness of the earth thereof they got the whole thing only for a temporary situation but then also what it says is this and by the sword shalt thou live and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke off, break his yoke from off thy neck. And that happened in the in the, in the, in the Renaissance period, when Esau came back into power. But forty, it says, and by thy sword shalt thou live. So whenever, when wherever Esau lives, he got a sword. He likes something, he gonna shoot and kill for it. He hates something, he gonna shoot and kill for it. It's all Esau knows, man. Kill, rob, rape, and murder. Oh, you don't want to give it to me? Give me your land. If not, I'm going to kill you for it. That's how they got it, man. And that's why they do what they do, man. What is that? Uh, Revelations 11 and 18. It says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and, thou, and that thou should have be give, give, give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, Lord willing, could be part of that number, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name. 
small and great, and should have destroyed them which destroyed the earth. And who are those people that destroyed the earth? The water, the food, the animals, the living, the dwelling of all and manner of people. Is the eat is the Edomites, man. Esau, the so-called white man, man. That's what needs to happen to be brought down because of that damn sword, man. Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red. And who does this horse represent? Esau. And the power was given to him that sat the run to take peace from the earth. Who took who took peace from the earth? Who is the who was the ruler of this earth? The wicked. Who was the wicked? Esau. Edom. And they that should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. Who was given that great sword? What was the blessing? To Esau. And if and if people might, you know, you know, depending on, you know, whatever. I know, I know the brothers, so-called Negroes, Latino, and the Indians, the, the, the brothers, they watching these videos, they know what's going on. And, and all for the new, the new flock, you know, this is for education's sake, to let you know who the wicked is. Because it's like, okay, yeah, he's the wicked, but how do we really know that? Okay, well, here we go. Malachi 4 and 1. Um, no, it's a locket, 1 and 4. It says, it says, whereas Edom saith. Now, who's Edom? Edom is, is Esau, the so-called white man. We are impoverished, but we will return and build desolate places in the, in, at the ranch house period. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord have in the nation forever. So who's the wicked? Who's the border and the founder of wickedness? Esau, man. Do the spirit, do the spirit, and do the spirit of, of Satan, man. They're the vessels of that situation. You see that? So in case you know, wicked this, wicked that. How do you know? Well, there you go. And look what you look what you see in that video, man. And what it says in Genesis twenty-five, it said it said they're a hunter, a man of the field. They laughed about it. What did Micah two say? It said that they convey fields, and what it says they wake up, they wake up in the morning. When the morning is light, they practice it. I think I'll bring it up one more time. Esau, man. Micah 2 and 1. It says, Woe to them that devise iniquity. What does woe mean? It means destruction. That work evil upon their beds. And when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of the hand. Right. And remember, they were given a great sword to take the peace of the earth. Right? Right. There you go. That's how you correlate those things. And where the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, and did the same thing to us too. And they convey fields, what they did to the elephants and also, also all around the world, and take them by violence. Remember, six is said to give them a great sword to take peace from the earth and houses and take them away so they oppress a man and his house, even the man his heritage. What ain't that what Amalek did, which is the grandson of Esau? They took the, the heritage from the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Indians, which were the true biblical Israelites, the true Jews, uh, Israelites, the, how, the, 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 the children of Israel is the children of God, the real children of God. Yahweh, you know? Straight like that, man. So that, I, I, I was calling this a quick jab, man, but you know what, though, man? Hey, the Lord said... That Esau had the 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 matter of fact let me get back to it one more time, Malachi one and four. This is beautiful because it says, Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build a desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahshab hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh Bashim Yahshah have indignation forever. You see that, and they're gonna be getting thrown down in five. And your eyes shall see, and you sh and you sh and you shall say, the Lord will magnify from the border of Israel. Yeah, that's what happened. It is what it is. But hey, the Lord say he's gonna throw them down, and and that's what we see in today. And we see the kingdom crumbling before him. So hey, you know it's call Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshua for these times that we living in, man, because Esau is in rule, and it's just. Just destroying everything. Matter of fact, my last precept. I got it. 
just came to mind. Proverbs 29 and 2. And this is really what's going on. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Which of the Israelites getting ruled? It's going to be all in righteousness. Especially after a thousand years, after the after the, uh, the, the other nations get their land back. Esau is going to be destroyed and distinct. But when they get the land back, the people are going to rejoice. Man, they're, going, they're, going to have the, they're going to have the land, fresh water, fresh food. They, they, and they're going to be under the law, statute of commandments of Yahweh Bashem And they're going to be living pretty good. But it says the people. But it says, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Ain't nobody happy here, man. But the animals ain't happy. The people ain't happy. It's all fucked up because of Esau, man. And they, all they know is just to be fucking evil all day. They, they, they got no. They, all they know is that. That's it. That's all they know. What can we do to be more evil and cruel and fucked up? I gotta say it like that. But that's how they are, man. So with that, we're going to give all honors and praises to and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rekakwadash. Yahweh, he is to be exist, Bashem the name, and the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior, deliver Yahweh Shah, Bashem the name, and the Holy Spirit of Rekakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders on the truth run from GMS. Blessing to the Aki Madeir preaching his word with whole heart sincerity. Blessing to the 144,000 and one third, the first fruits kingdom of heaven. Asa David, the Biafta Wada, and Shalawam to you brothers out there speaking in different tongues. And looking different nations. Shalom, brothers.